Hello and welcome to our video on seafloor sediments. In this video we will list the three types of ocean floor sediments, then we'll describe the formation of all three being pterogenous, biogenous, and hydrogenous sediments. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about ocean floor sediments. There's three different kinds. We can see two of them pictured here and we'll talk about the third one at the end. The first are what we call pterogenous. And genus means that it was born of or created from, and terra is going to be land. So these are going to be the ones that are made up of rock, basically. And what we have is two different kinds, and it's based primarily on the texture or the size of the grain that makes it up. We're going to have these coarse nearshore deposits, and that's going to be things like sand and gravel. And then further out, we'll have this fine clay and mud type of sediments as well. But these are pterogenous in nature, so they come from rocks. It's the base up, ground up minerals and rocks and things of that nature, and that's what makes this sediment. Now the next type of sediment is what we call biogenous. Biogenous means that it comes from life. So there's two primary types of biogenous sediments, and it's going to be based on the material of them. We have silicaceous ooze, and then we have this calcareous ooze. The calcareous ones are going to come from shells. So it's calcium carbonate like you'd see in a seashell, and they're in corals. And what you're going to see is this material is just kind of eroded away, weathered down, and it's going to be an ooze or a sediment made up of these materials. We can also have a silicaceous ooze, which is going to come from the shells of diatoms, which are microscopic little marine organisms as well. But instead of having a calcium carbonate shell, it's one that's primarily silicone. And then the third type of seafloor sediment is what we call hydrogenous, and that's going to come from the water. And this is where we're going to see things like our manganese nodules that are going to form that you'll learn about a little bit in our lesson. And these are going to be these precipitates that come straight from the water. So we can have stuff that's trapped in the water, and it'll precipitate outwards. So it comes from the water, hence the term hydrogenous. Okay, so just to summarize these, let's take a look real quickly. We have our three different types. We have our pterogenous sediments. The origin of that is going to be land, and those are going to be primarily from the rocks, made up of rocks and minerals, and that would be like a gravel or a mud sediment that you would find out there, and it's going to be made up of these minerals. The next is the biogenous. Remember, biogenous comes from life, and this is going to be our calcareous ooze made up of shells, or our silicaceous ooze, which is made up from the shell of diatoms. So this is just going to be further classified by the chemical nature of what the shell of the organism was. And then our last is going to be these hydrogenous, and hydrogenous is going to come from the water. And this is where we talk about things like manganese, which will precipitate out of the water into nodules. And we'll see some of those a little bit later on in these lessons. Okay, well that's it for our video. As always, good luck on your quiz, and we'll see you in the next video.